Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for March 30th through April 5th, 2020. Let's get right into your reading and let's see what's going on for all the Pisces in the world. You must decide. So you've got to make a decision about something this week, Pisces. Next is Creative Fire. It might be around a creative talent idea um, or a big thing that you want to achieve for yourself. Like it might be time this week, Pisces, to really decide to put all of yourself, all of your energy into some sort of creative project or idea that you want for yourself, that you want to manifest for yourself. Next, we have not for you, poison and unexpected health. Okay, so. I see why you must decide here. You're, you go back and forth about something, Pisces, and it's something that you really want, um, something you want to manifest. And for many of you, it's like around your um, talents or your abilities, your skills. There's just something that you want to create or experience for yourself, but you're going back and forth because, uh, you know, in one moment you're like, yeah, I could do this. This is my destiny. And then in the next moment you're like, mm, I don't know. Is it worth the sacrifice? Is it worth the time it's going to take? You know, what are the challenges I will face? So you kind of are going back and forth about a decision here, um, Pisces. But what I feel is you need to decide to go with what you feel in your heart because there's some unexpected help coming in this week for you as well, which may um, help you make your final decision decision and go all in to your creative dream, your idea, your endeavor, whatever this is for you specifically. Um, this unexpected help that shows up, I feel is what kind of um, tips the scales where you're like, okay, yeah, I'm going all in. So let's pull some um, tarot and dig a bit deeper about this. All right, well, the star just jumped out, so that's positive right there. First thing out, the star with you must decide, believe in your dreams, Pisces. Believe that things happen and magic is real and miracles do unfold because that's what the star card is all about. You've got to decide that for yourself and then just go with it. Under creative fire, we have the king of staves. So this could involve um, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. But Pisces, this is also talking about you because fire energy is the soul, the ethers of creation, the action in which we must take to move forward for our manifestations. So you've got it, Pisces, coming through as a king energy. Everything you need is within you to um, make this dream, goal, desire unfold, come into fruition for you or to go through this experience. Like you have all that you need. You need to have like more faith in yourself and under um, poison, um, not for you. We have the king of vessels and this is your energy Pisces because it's water energy. Maybe it could involve a cancer Scorpio or fellow Pisces for some of you. But yeah, I see um, where you're like, not for me, not for me, not for me, but you're totally um, capable and able. So let's see what's under unexpected health. 10 of staves. Okay, so this might be why you're kind of hesitant. Um, you worry like you don't have enough um, energy, enough resources, uh, enough information, enough know-how to fully um, carry this out to the capacity in which you desire. Or uh, maybe you do need somebody to help you or to advise you and you're like, I can't move forward until that takes place. So um, the 10 of staves coming out, Pisces, is you're not going to be carrying this burden all on your own um, for much longer. You're, somebody's coming in to give you support, to give you advice, to give you resources. Um, you know, maybe some of you it's financial backing. Okay, it's just like you're not going to be carrying this load on your own moving forward. And so um, that's why spirits like don't throw in the towel, don't give up on yourself just because um, of, you know, the circumstances that you're in right now in this moment, because they're going to shift, they're going to change, something's going to come in and help. And now under the star and you must decide, we have temperance, four of swords, page of swords, 
and eight of wands nice pisces okay with temperance coming out under the star you must decide um yeah that tells me you're just you're really going back and forth pisces and don't hold back because you're afraid that like you don't have enough stamina enough endurance enough resources whatever it is don't let that hold you back because the truth is you have everything you need and spirit um, when you are getting depleted spirit will fill you back full spirit will renewal you and sometimes um, you know you could be working at something and, and there's a lot of momentum and then all of a sudden it really slows or you feel like you come to a complete stop that doesn't mean that things aren't going to pan out or that the momentum has completely died what that is telling you is it's time for you to rebalance your energy to take a break and to recharge and renewal yourself so that you can be back at it full force and you will lose no momentum in that process all right and now um not for you king of vessels page of swords um um, this to me is um, what you think is not like why you go back and forth is the own negative thoughts that you tell yourself within not believing in yourself um, this isn't in alignment that is an alignment so this is why it wouldn't work and spirits like don't don't go there because you're going to have all you need like there's a lot of energies coming in um, with this eight of staves and also that unexpected help with this this is communication and conversation coming in somebody coming in saying let me help you with this burden let me lighten your load um, may have really good advice may physically join you and help you in your endeavor but a very important conversation comes in this week Pisces and it's unexpected and it's everything that you need um, and it, there's a big burst of energy that comes back into your life so whoa my ears just totally did a weird shift wow um so again if you know you feel like progress has slowed um or you're kind of at a wall it's not the end of the line um, and you're not doing anything wrong it's just there's a, a period here where I see that you need to kind of renewal yourself reassess rebalance yourself so that you can move forward and then um, you pick up where you left off and go uh, even at a quicker speed of acceleration especially because somebody's coming in to help you and this could be Pisces you may not ever know who this person is that um, helps you and maybe somebody putting in a really good word kind word for you um, recommending you you know it's just for it's going to come in in a different way for all of you but somebody really has your back and gives you a, a nice big push this week all right so let's uh pull some more tarot Emperor, Ten of Wands. So Pisces, yeah, here you are trying to decide and Spirit's letting you know the balance will come in, the manifestation will come to fruition because there's somebody coming in to help you carry the load, shoulder the burden, and this being the Emperor, that's more fire energy, um, specifically in Aries. And then you got the... Um, temperance which would be a Sagittarius so you've got a, a lot of fire energy coming through and I love this creative fire because fire energy the wands is you know your spirit the ethers of creation and it's just abundant in your reading all over the place so action is about to start taking place movement momentum forward taking place and it's like you're not going to have to shoulder this burden all on your own anymore Pisces and also potentially an Aquarius with that star there but you've got to decide to keep pushing forward and to not give up and to believe next is the death card with the knight of pentacles and so um this just goes back to that um energy of you kind of going back and forth wondering you know is this worth it or the momentum slowing and that makes you kind of feel like well was this a waste of time but it's not Pisces it's like there's a sense of needing to be renewed in the um, in this week and after that takes place then your energy moving forward is much more steady and solid it's slower moving 
but it's solid and you can count on it and there's like this foundation being made so um decide to not give up on whatever this is for you because the energy is solid and as you get towards the end of the week the energy really picks up its pace of momentum once again the moon and the fool so part of this back and forth pisces is really it's going on within you and you're going to have to decide um, to not um focus on the potential negatives focus on you know the setbacks and what hasn't worked and all of that energy and really believe in yourself pisces because just because something takes longer than expected or you've had to walk a bit of the journey on your own or you you met with setback it doesn't mean that it, it's time to end okay it it means that it's time to stop to reassess, to renewal, recharge, so that you can move forward once again um, in really fresh, strong energy. And lastly, under unexpected help, we have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Yes, see Pisces, what you feel is restricting you or holding you back um, through this unexpected help here's your solution here's um, your breakthrough the illumination the way forward freeing you from the prison like the key to the prison cage I like to see that um, and with two eight of wands um, did you, yeah you had two right or am I just like no you didn't don't ask me why I thought that I re oh you have two ten of wands that's right okay and with the two ten of wands Pisces you're no longer going to be um, carrying all the responsibility the burden on your own something's coming in to help you and it's been a quite a long journey some of you may have had to do a lot on your own and be very resourceful on your own all of that's coming to an end um, but there's like this halt of progress and that's what has you questioning yourself um, your path forward and spirits like no it's not for you to give up and throw in the towel it's for you to reassess and also for me to fill you back up and move forward and then um, as you near the end of the week here comes the information um, the opportunity the breakthrough whatever it is that you personally need Pisces to get you moving forward once again and then the uh, acceleration of that energy is quite rapid and um, also uh, different conversations multiple conversations you're having with this person throughout this week this person that's going to come in and um, really help you out yay Pisces don't give up okay let's pull you some advice Ask for help. Love it. I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. Yes, Pisces, repeat this uh, multiple times um, every day throughout the week because Spirit is sending some help in for you. And I'm telling you, any slowing of energies prior to this week or at the start of the week is for you to reassess and for Spirit to fill you back up. Okay, and also... Um, don't think yourself not good enough. You know, any sort of poisonous thoughts about yourself that you entertain, you've got to get rid of those. Okay, I see that with the moon. We've got to get rid of those and come into a very clear mind. Get your mind right about yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in your path. Believe in what you're doing because spirit is setting you free. And um, the Ace of Swords is always Archangel Michael to me. So Archangel Michael coming in, bringing you truth, bringing you empowerment, and breaking you free from you know the thoughts it's truly the thoughts that are holding you back okay Pisces so those are your messages for the week I am wishing you all the best take care